everyone and hopefully you're super well as you should be able to tell from the title of this video today's video is a huge artist's haul so sort of in the vein of people doing like back to university back to school back to work um stationary hauls i thought i would do a huge artist's haul because i just ordered so many things from the works this is not an ad this is not sponsored i ordered like 21 things i think um basically like lots of oil painting supplies lots of just artist supplies and then some like cute christmasy things as well so i thought i'd show you everything that i ordered in case you are thinking of maybe getting into doing some art if you like this kind of video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and without further ado let's get on to the haul so the first thing in my huge box are these two mini canvases they are the second smallest size that the works sells. They come with their own easel, which is so cute. And I think that they'll be great for like practicing beginning painting with oil paints. It'll also work with like acrylic paints as well. I wonder if they'd work with any other type of paint or like if you actually wanted to like draw on canvas and I guess you could give these a whirl. They're only two pounds. Um, they're meant to be four pounds. They're two pounds because the works is amazing. So they are the first things that are in my amazing box. And the second thing in my box is my mixing palette. So this will be where I will mix my oil paints. This is where you could mix like acrylic paints, I guess, if they would mix. Um, this would be excellent for mixing oil paints. You can mix them with like linseed oil as well so that they stay like wetter for longer. Um, so, like, lots of little spaces to mix different colors as well, which is super handy. And the thumb thing so you can feel all profesh. And then I have even tinier canvases. These ones are the smallest ones that they had. I've wanted to get these since forever. Like as soon as I saw these in the works, like maybe at Christmas time, I really wanted to get them, but I didn't like, I wasn't painting then. So I was like, why would I buy a tiny uh, canvas and easel? Although they're really cute. And I think you could get them like regardless, just cause it's so cute. Um, they're only one pound. I can't wait to paint on these. I also bought this brush set that also comes with a palette knife and some sponges. I haven't tried using sponges before, so that'll be very interesting. Um, it comes with one gold nylon brush and two hog bristle brushes, which I thought sounds really cute. Um, I think they'll be very good for um, oil painting or acrylic painting if that's what you choose to do. The nylon one looks really soft and the hog bristle ones are a little bit scared of. However, I think I will give them a whirl. And they're like a nice size, especially if you're going to work on like medium, smaller canvases. I think that these would actually be excellent. And the palette knife also looks really good as well. Next, I ordered this set of textured brushes. They look very, very nice. They're from a company called Bold Mirror, which the works stocks. Um, I actually bought them for the fan brush because I thought that'd be nice for like you know, little distance details, um, but they'll also be great for working on the tiny canvases as well. Next are these flat brushes, which I think are popular with watercolour artists, um, but you can actually use them for oils as well, I believe, if you just remove the excess paint um, and then clean the brushes with the appropriate fluid. It has all these instructions on the back. That's where I was reading it from. It comes with three brushes. They all look very fancy. I can't wait to try them out, especially as I said before on the smaller canvases. I also bought three packs of fine line pens because when I was originally thinking of like using pens for drawing, I wanted to like find some good artist pens and I read the reviews for these and someone had said that they were actually better than like any artist pen that they'd ever bought before so I thought I'd try them and I have tried them before and they are really good. They have a very fine nib and they work very well. Bought some more because I haven't been going to any shops so I thought whilst I can get them online in one big order I should do that so that's what I did. I seem to be doing things in threes because I also bought three packets of the Works oil paints. These are Crawford and Black oil paints. They come with 12 colours including ochre yellow, burnt umber, sap green, every colour that you will have typically heard of if you watch people do oil paintings. I'm very excited to, to try these. Um, I did have some at home, some oil paints, um, but I've had them for, they've been in like our house for a very long time so I thought I would get some new ones just in case the other ones have dried up although I'm sure you could probably revive them with some oils but very excited to try these. Some more things that I got include this watercolour pad which has 16 watercolour sheets in it which I think is very good. It's smaller than I expected it to be but that actually might be a good thing because I do like working on a quite small scale so I think that will be useful for that. And I also bought a medium sized canvas which comes with its own easel. Um, I'm very excited to try this. I think it'd be nice to like flip it around this way as well if I wanted to do like landscapey type things. And I also bought three more of these canvases in this size, but like without the easel. 
because I feel like I could obviously reuse that easel. And I also have um, a big easel that my dad made for me. So I bought three more of these medium sized ones that are nine by 12 approx. The biggest thing that came in my ginormous box was these very big canvases. They are 16 by 20 canvases. I bought three of them. Um, they will go very nicely on my big easel and I think they'll be great for oil painting, landscapes and so on. As you can see, they were £10, which I think is a great price. The works does amazing things at amazing prices. So that is why, you know, they're a great place to shop at and they have, you can buy things online. So that's even more perfect. So that was kind of all the like artists, professional supplies. And then I bought four other things that are just very, very fun things that I wanted to buy. Um, the first still very artsy supply that I got was this pack of pastel gel pens. I always wanted pastel gel pens. They're so aesthetically pleasing. Um, I mainly bought them for the white gel pen that's in there. Um, because I feel like that would be good for like actually like doing like professional work. Um, but I bet all the colours will actually be really nice and they're such a nice um, array of colours. So I'm very excited to use these. And I bought some glitter gel pens because I used to have glitter gel pens when I was um, a smaller, younger person. And I assume that they will have all dried up now or will have been like recycled or thrown away. Um, so I really wanted to get some, especially with, like Christmas time coming and it's nice to like um, write things in a sparkly pen or like if I was like gonna start bullet journaling which I might do next year and also um, I have a friend who lives in Singapore who I'm gonna be writing to so it might be fun to use some glittery pens to write to her and I also bought a book because the works has the most amazing selection of books I bought a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens because I'm not sure if I read this in school and I love watching it every Christmas like any adaptation of it I will give it a spin um, because I just really enjoy watching it um, so I thought in case I haven't read it I don't know if I have I've obviously read different Dickens books at school but I just don't remember reading this um, and it, it's a good size it's very small so it hopefully won't be too OTT um, but I thought I'd give it a whirl especially at Christmas time um, it's a kind of spooky Christmas story and I think that I've been in that kind of vibe recently so can't wait to give this a go and the final thing that I bought which you may not expect from this video, but I mean, I wasn't expecting to purchase this, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, I want to get that. Is a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle, postcards from Santa, like the um, A Christmas Carol book. I thought this would be really fun to do at Christmas time. I haven't done a jigsaw puzzle in like at least 10 years, so I thought I would buy one. I thought it'd be really fun and cute to do, listening to Christmas music, having a Christmas film on in the background. Um, and the pictures that like, a part of the jigsaw are actually really aesthetic aesthetically pleasing especially for Christmas time so I thought I would get it because the works has so many jigsaws and I just thought it'd be a really cute thing to do so that is the end of my ginormous the works haul I think I got through that very quickly um I hope that I explained everything in as much depth as was necessary if there's anything that you want me to explain about like oil painting or art supplies or shopping at the works because I absolutely loved it um, then please leave me a comment down below and you can connect with me on my socials which I'll put on the screen here as well and in the description box down below as always um, feel free to check through my other videos I have playlists of like different things University of Cambridge, University of Durham, um, University checklists, lookbooks, autumn lookbooks because it's very like autumnal fun um, Christmassy kind of haul as well as being like back to school back to work stationary artists kind of stuff and um, so if you like this kind of video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already i can't wait to see you in my next video make sure to check out my other socials as well and just come and say hi and um, make sure that you say which video you came from so i can like know and yeah i hope that you have a great rest of your week and i can't wait to see you very very soon bye